Hello everyone, welcome to today's very special vlog, the one where Janelle and I meet in real life for the first time. I'm excited for you guys to see all the things we got up to while we were together for just a few days in an adorable Airbnb with our husbands in Chattanooga, Tennessee. But first, I want to give a shout out and thank the sponsor of this video, which is Book of the Month. I'm very happy to be working with them again this month to share some exciting news that they just announced. If you haven't heard of Book of the Month by now, then let me be the first to tell you that they are a super popular and wonderfully convenient online book subscription service that I love and their mission is to introduce new debut authors and help readers find books they'll enjoy. So how it works is each month they go through hundreds of books and give members a choice from a stellar selection and if you are already familiar with book of the month then you may know that they usually highlight five books each month but guys guess what the exciting news that they just announced is that they now sometimes have up to seven new and early release titles to choose from so it's not always a guaranteed seven but it's also not always going to be just five anymore they may have five six or seven in the upcoming months i am literally so excited about this the reason they curate their selections this way is to make it easier for us and to ensure that we spend more time reading and less time researching if at any point you're not interested in the books that they have selected for a certain month no worries your subscription is always completely risk-free so you can skip it any month you want or need to and you won't be charged. The greatest part about Book of the Month is that they have the best prices for new release hardcover fiction. So you can get your first book for just $9.99 with my code Sydney Page. I will have all the details and links and stuff for you in the description below if you want to check it out. But now let's go ahead and talk about all seven of their picks for March. The first one is called The Verifiers by Jane Peck and this one is a witty and incisive examination of how technology shapes our choices and of the nature of romantic love in the digital age. Then we have The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James about a true crime blogger who gets more than she bargained for while interviewing the woman acquitted of two cold case slings. Some crimes come back to haunt you. Their romance pick is called Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma. Even though his views on love matches and arranged matches conflict with hers, Prem finds the more he's with Karina, the more he begins to believe she's the woman he wants to spend the rest of his life with. But for Prem and Karina, to find their happily ever after, they must admit that hate has turned into fate. The next one is called The Unsinkable Greta James by Jennifer E. Smith. An indie musician reeling from tragedy and a public breakdown reconnects with her father on a week-long cruise in this pitch-perfect story about the ways we recover love in the strangest of places. We also have a private investigation story called Tell Me Everything by Erica Krauss. This is part memoir and part literary truth crime tell me everything is the mesmerizing story of a landmark sexual assault investigation and the female private investigator who helped crack it open and the sixth book i have to show you is one of my most anticipated new releases by the one and only lucy foley called the paris apartment so this is from the best-selling author of the guest list and it's a new locked room mystery set in a Paris apartment building in which every resident has something to hide. I am so excited for this one and I think I'll be reading it very soon. And last but not least, we have The Cartographers by Peng Shepard. From the critically acclaimed author of The Book of M, a highly imaginative thriller about a young woman who discovers that a strange map in her deceased father's belongings holds an incredible deadly secret one that will lead her on an extraordinary adventure and to the truth about her family's dark history. So those are all the seven picks that they have for this month. Thank you so much to Book of the Month again for sponsoring. If you guys are interested, I will have my code and all the links in the description so you can get your first book for just $9.99. Now let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. It is a little bit more of like behind the scenes footage, just like this random stuff that Janelle and I got up to during those few days we were together. It is also partially a reading vlog for the book club picks we have for our book club called the Coffee Break Book Club. I will be reading The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas and Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. So let's just get right into it. Look at the cute house. This is our little Airbnb. It's adorable. So cute. Benji's here. Look, they have a water and food bowl for him. We didn't have to bring this. What's this way? Yeah, there's three bedrooms. Nice, nice. <laughs> he loves running around. So we're just waiting for 
Jonathan and Janelle to get here. I'm gonna grab our stuff. Yeah, we should unload the car. Veggie, veggie. Runaway dog. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, this place is so cute. It's so cute. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Right. Yeah, we went in the back because it has access to the backyard for Benji. Oh, yeah. The bed is really cute. He's just rolling. <laughs> I do have a surprise for you guys. If you guys want to guess maybe what my surprise is, if someone guesses it correctly, then maybe I'll tell you. A few moments later. <laughs> Janelle about to join you on camera. Okay, get over here. She's here, surprise. Oh, look at how cute. <laughs> okay, gotta get in the breeding mood. Make sure to start on. How did they get it? How did Cece know? How did she how? Like how? They said, are you and Janelle meeting up? What was it? Janelle about to join on your camera. That's she was on, on point. I need another drink. Riley, you want to learn how to make a mojito? Jonathan will make it. Hands, eyes, and a brain so I can make it Or you could just give me some of the rum. Like, I don't know. No, I like the lime. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, here. He could, he could Jonathan, show you. do you? Yeah, Sydney wants another mojito, and I would too. Could you make it to me? Uh, I don't know. Peace. Are you going? We're going. Oh, how about that? How about Oh, no, two they... people guessed it. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, Cece did. She said, like, is Janelle about to join on your camera? And we were like, wow. Crap. Yeah, I don't know how they are. I don't know either. Teach him teach him Wait, your ways so you that need, he can make them for you. Do you need my cup too, babe? I feel like I'm not going to be able to focus on the video. I said the same thing. I'm like, there's no way we're actually gonna read. But I have a feeling we won't do that many friends. I feel like folks just end up like this. <laughs> They're just watching us talk. I know, I forgot that they could see us. <laughs> Long section. <laughs> Wait. Hey! Boys are making us drinks. Our vlogs are gonna be the exact same, just from different angles. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh, hey. Tripod's actually really cool. I would recommend that. <laughs> Whenever we talk about the book club on Sprints, I always have a little bit of a Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. We've wasted nine minutes. Yep. Yep. Just like that. So now, so face me. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And now ah! press, press start with your right trigger. Oh, hey, I got blue and red. <laughs> Uh, she knows her colors. So now press play. Press play. How do you press play? Press it. You you point to it. Point, point like, to like it. Like touch it. This. Like, yeah, like, yeah, play. There you go. Yep. Trigger. Like re this, re reach forward. It's it's not it's not reach forward. Reach this forward. this trigger up there. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So you're, you're gonna go where the you're gonna go where the, uh, where the arrows are pointing. Like side spot. You Wait, I have to move. Sideways. Yeah. Go in the direction of the arrows. I don't even see arrows. No. <laughs> On the boxes, They're right. kind of crashing into me. Or you guys could do like a vlog update from right here. Oh, we're in the bookstore. We're in the bookstore. That's, that's the update. That's it. That's it. You like the stars. Is it cute? Well, I think it's a little more crowded. It looks like a green or shirt. Yeah. Do you guys feel famous with all these cameras on here? No. 
this is literally great. Oh, so cute. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we're gonna have to get like a million pictures. I'm gonna have to have enough pictures for like the rest of the year. <laughs> I know. Okay. We should have brought like a million outfits. I know. We're gonna know it's the same day now. <laughs> The Deal by Elle Kennedy and the graphic novel version of The Great Gatsby, which I've never seen before, so I had to get it. This place is so cute. It's called the book, did we say what it's called? The book and cover? The book and cover. They also gave us little bookmarks. My favorite bookstore ever. It's so cute. Now we're going to Barnes & Noble, right? Get it then. I'll nice. put this one back because I have it on my Kindle. I know I need to put this one back. Okay, hi guys. It's a little bit later. We're back at the Airbnb now, and I think Janelle and Jonathan are taking a nap. Riley's playing VR, and I'm here to give you an update, tell you some of the books that I got because we went out book shopping. Uh, we got lunch and just had a fun afternoon out so first of all i already showed you that i got house of leaves from the first bookstore we went to called book and cover janelle also ended up getting that book so we're definitely gonna buddy read that one together but i'm very excited that i finally have a copy of it and then after that bookshop we went to barnes and noble and from there i got my lovely wife by samantha downing which is a thriller and then i got near the bone by Christina Henry and this one was nominated for the Goodreads Choice Awards horror category from 2021 so I definitely wanted to get this and then from there we went to Second and Charles bookstore and I was going to get Layla by Colleen Hoover but then I remembered I have that one on my Kindle already so I don't need the physical copy of it so then instead I picked up Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel and Janelle also got this one. So this is another buddy read that we're going to do and I'm very excited for it because then I definitely want to watch the adaptation. So that's my book haul from the week. Oh, and then also from Barnes & Noble, I got this water bottle. If you guys frequent Barnes & Noble, maybe you have already seen this, um, that they have these little water bottles that are like pills it's just like shaped like one and i really wanted to get one every time i go to the one by my house i always want to get it today i actually pulled the trigger on it and i got the little light pink one so i just washed it and i'm gonna go fill it up and use it because i didn't bring a water bottle for the trip today is like our only full day for the trip so we went out for a little bit and now it's like kind of raining raining outside so i think we're in for the night we're just gonna like make some mac and cheese or something for dinner we went to jersey mike's for lunch that was really good and then we might like play some games and i brought stuff for uh painting like to do some acrylic paint on canvas for like all four of us to do together so we might do that later but like as of right now we're just hanging out chilling but then we already leave tomorrow so it was a very quick trip still very fun obviously and i'm having a great time <laughs> oh hi gg and i'm the star as always actually yeah, now you're closer Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we're here to update what we got from the bookstore. I already talked about these two. And at Barnes & Noble, I got 
House of Leaves and Verity. I also got Station Eleven at Second and Charles. <laughs> Buddy Reed to come. At Barnes and Noble, I got Near the Bone and My Lovely Wife. Is there a different cover for it? The other cover is white. But yeah, so that's the books that we got. And now I think we're about. Are we gonna paint? Is that the? That's the plan. We're gonna paint something. Yeah, that'll be fun. I forgot I was recording too. <laughs> Painting montage. Go. <laughs> coffee shop before we leave leave oh did i have to lock it probably right i would assume That is so cute. No pressure. Yeah, so we're leaving now. Gotta say goodbye. <laughs> no, I don't see that is to each. Good. In the prison in the background. Yeah. <laughs> really good. We could probably go this way. Have yeah, you could do it in front of the, the building. <laughs> yeah, maybe like in front of the cute cafe sign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and action. <laughs> Okay, just like a few more months, right? Yeah. We're gonna go to Florida. Cameraman. <laughs> you gotta remember the cameraman, okay? They're important. <laughs> Party's over. Time to get to the actual reading portion of this vlog. I'm sad that Janelle and I couldn't have been together for longer because it was a really quick trip, but I seriously can't wait for the next time we get to hang out and maybe then we can actually read together because we did try, but we kept getting distracted by the fact that we were actually sitting next to each other on the same couch and then we'd end up just talking and getting carried away. But yeah, it really was such a great time and I miss her already. But I hope you guys enjoyed those like behind the scenes clips that I ended up getting. So I am reading the Coffee Break Book Club picks this week and I started with The Spanish Love Deception and I actually just finished it on my Kindle. Do I maybe think that it's a little overhyped? Yes, yes I do. This is a major slow burn romance for those of you who don't know. So the physical book is like almost 500 pages um, and that's just too much. That is way too much for me personally and for a romance I think. Like it just, uh, it was not good. Um, and I, I genuinely like wasn't at all interested until like the 50% mark. I feel like everything before that could have been taken out. Like this, the real story doesn't start until the 50% mark. I just had too much buildup that I didn't like. But like, I guess it was cute. I just did not fall in love with the characters enough and was very disinterested in all the other stuff that was within that story and plot line. So yeah, I think it was just too long and overwritten. It easily could have been cut down by like 100, 150 pages. Also the spiciness in this one, it's just a big no for me. I prefer just a nice storyline anyways. Like I don't like to read my books for the smut. It was also just like, it was just cringe. Like I couldn't do it. I'm giving this a generous three stars. I didn't like it very much. I think it is definitely overhyped. There was no like atmospheric value that the setting brought because it's supposed to take place first in New York but then they fly to Spain for Lena's sister's wedding and it was just not it didn't feel scenic or atmospheric at all I feel like it could have taken place in any other setting and it would have been the same exact storyline there will be a live show and it will have actually already happened by the time you're watching this so if you didn't get to attend and you want to hear Janelle and I's spoilery thoughts I'll have it linked down below for you so you can watch it now I must move on to then she was gone by Lisa Jewell and hopefully this one goes a little bit better for me it's already off to a great start with it being a thriller 
over romance because I know I said like earlier that I think romance is also one of my favorite genres but I'm just very very particular with my romance and thrillers like even though there's a lot of average thrillers out there that I've read the story has just so much more potential of it being unique and different romances always end up the same and it's just really really boring I will keep you posted on this one but I do need to start reading this one I'm on page 129 and I feel like I already kind of know what's going on. It feels like it's making it really obvious. If you haven't heard about this one, let, let me explain it. It's basically about a woman whose a daughter goes missing. 10 years later, they find her body and she's dead. Like her bones are buried and everything. Like she's clearly dead. But then she tries to like move on with her life, but she unexpectedly meets this man that she starts to have like a romantic connection to whose name is Floyd and he has two daughters but his youngest who's nine years old her name is Poppy looks like identical to Laurel's daughter that went missing whose name is Ellie things just start to get pretty eerie and like weird but I feel like everything that you learn in this book up until this point already I feel like it's making it really clear and obvious maybe kind of what happened um so i have a theory I'm not going to say it though because i don't want to like spoil anything but let's just say i feel like i know partially what's going on i feel like it's still a mystery on how she died that doesn't really make sense but yeah so far it's it's going well the writing is different like this is my first lisa jewel and I feel like I can tell that I'm not quite used to her writing yet. I'm not like not enjoying it. So it's going well. I'm still under the halfway mark. So I have a lot to finish. And that's the plan to finish it today because the live show is tonight. <laughs> I really procrastinated with getting the book club books done this month. So I need to crank it out today and finish it. But that is my update that I feel like I know what's going on and we'll see if my theory rings true. Also, I was going to say, we had our live show for the Spanish Love Deception yesterday, last night, and Janelle and I basically just talked about all the negative things about it because we both didn't like fall in love with it. So it was hard to like come up with positive things to say in the live show and I felt kind of bad, but it was also kind of like whatever. I really just don't think this book is that amazing so i'm not gonna like be hyping it up and um didn't fall in love with the characters so there wasn't anything to like gush over you know what i mean anyway so the live show was great thank you to all of you who joined and said some things in the chat i really appreciate it but then this morning i woke up and i got a comment on the live show it's like someone who rewatched it or whatever and they were like unfollowing you because of this and i was just like oh, okay like that's cool <laughs> Like, you can't take me having my own opinion, so you're gonna unfollow me. Like, it really didn't, like, I, it doesn't get to me when people say things like that, but I just thought it was funny. Like, they had to publicly announce that they were going to unfollow, unsubscribe, just because I didn't like the Spanish Love Deception. And there was, like, no emojis or anything, so it didn't feel like it was supposed to be a joke, but, you know. I just thought it was funny so good riddance to you have a good life but you're gonna have to work on that if you don't agree with people's opinions you're gonna struggle a lot <laughs> cheers to that <laughs> finished this and it was very very good I found this whole story to be very intriguing. I couldn't stop reading it. And it was also very emotional. And I love it when my thrillers can bring out emotion in me when you like connect so much to all of the characters in general, but also when you get so attached to the main victim in the story. So it's not just the suspense, it's also you're feeling the pain of the main victim of the story and feeling very sympathetic towards them. I really liked it. I had a hard time deciding on like what I wanted to rate it, but I'm landing on 4.5 because I don't feel like this is one that I would be like, oh yeah, this, this was a five star for me. Like it just doesn't feel like it should be a full five stars for whatever reason. Like my brain just is being weird like that, but it was really good. So I'm giving it 4.5. So like I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a gripping, thriller that's very psychological multiple povs time jumps 
very interesting characters and lots of like connected plot lines which I just love. It reminded me of one of my favorite thriller movies. I'm not going to say which one just because I don't want it to give anything away. It just had a lot of aspects in it that I enjoy in thriller movies so I would love to see this one actually become a movie. I think it would do really really well. But yeah I'm excited that I enjoyed my first Lisa Jewel. I can't wait to read more by her. I don't think I own any more by her but I will definitely be getting my hands on some. Let me know if you've read Lisa Jewel, if you're a big fan of her, if you have a lot of knowledge about Lisa Jewel and you have a good track record with all of her books. Please let me know down below which one you think I should read. Um, this one was really good and I also want to thank Lauren from Lauren Loves Libros because she gifted me this book. So shout out to her. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for giving this to me for my birthday. But yeah, so I'm about to get on the live show with Janelle in a little less than an hour, I think. I'm excited to talk about it with everyone. I thought it was great. I did too. And this was my first Lisa Jewel and I can't wait to read another one by her. I feel like there's so much to talk about with this book because... There's so many like interconnected plot points and like with all the characters introduced, I think she did a great job at like making them make sense. Mm -hmm. No character was really just thrown in there for the sake of having another character. Right away too, I thought that I had guessed it. Like I had a theory, we'll get into it, but like I was partially correct. But then also I liked the twists and turns that it took before it got to that ultimate twist, I guess. It was really, really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, seeing me and Janelle be together in real life. I can't wait to make another one of these vlogs when we get together again. Also, thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description if you wanted to sign up and get your first book from them. That would be really cool. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.